Hello, baseball fans. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Redman. Well, there, there's a guy that I, I really specifically want to mention because I've done a lot of talking about him. He's a guy that's sort of taken uh, the Braves' bullpen by storm this year. His name is Spencer Strider. The one concern I have, and, and you could have, and, and you may have, about putting Spencer Strider in the starting rotation is that he is limited on the variety of pitches he throws. What I mean by that? Strider throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a changeup. He throws that fastball 70% of the time, that slider 27% of the time, and the changeup 3% of the time. There's just not a ton of variety there. Uh, that could lead to trouble. Uh, it could have an effect on him going longer in games because, you know, especially the third time through the order. Um, and that, that's why I think the debate lingers about making him a starter. If he had, you know, maybe even just one more pitch or maybe even just use that changeup a little bit more, he throws three pitches, but right now it's really only two because he's relying solely on that fastball uh, and the slider. He's been nasty, make no mistake about it, uh, but you could have that concern. It could lead to issues down the road. As That being said, I'm more than happy to give him a shot in the rotation, uh, even if it is only temporary. I, I don't care. Maybe he can develop some other pitches you know, in that spot. Maybe he can learn a thing or two, uh, but I'll be honest with you, I think he could be successful at least for a short stint uh, in the starting rotation. Again, I don't know how long it lasts. It may be that he only goes four innings uh, in those starts. I don't know what the, uh, you know, what the mindset is that the Braves have with him. He's a draft pick we picked up a couple years ago. Uh, got a great fastball. Uh, not a lot of secondary pitches. Uh, because of, he's had great success in long relief. We're talking three, four innings in relief uh, on, you know, multiple games now. A lot of people want him to move to a starter. But with a guy like that who has two pitches, maybe three, how successful can they be as a starter? If you got two going, you're going to win. If you got three going, you're going to throw a shutout. And if you get narrowed down to one, you're going to lose. So, therefore, he could be. Okay. Absolutely. You know, you, you're talking about Hall of Fame pitchers that go into the Hall of Fame with three pitches. You know, and, and if you're talking about a, a guy that, you know, that can pitch multiple innings and has more than one pitch, and, 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 and if you got – we used to have that saying, if you got two going, you're going to win. If you got three going, you're going to throw a shutout. And if you're narrowed down to one, you're going to lose. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from my interview with Braves legend Leo Mazzoni. If you want to watch the full hour-long interview full of great content and Braves memories, check out the link in the description below. Also, if you're a young pitcher or youth baseball coach, I got something for you. Check out How to Hit Spots by Dan Lazzaroni. It's a brand new sponsor of On Deck, and it's also a guide to help develop the ability to hit spots. Location is key, and this is a great start for young pitchers. The link to get this book is also in the description below. Stay tuned for more right here at On Deck. Baseball fans, make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to this channel. As always, thank you for your support.